It is the month of November of the year 2020, and we are currently in the midst of a COVID-19 pandemic. We're also heading into the winter months, which is also the start of the flu season. So just as cases of COVID-19 rise again, we will also start seeing more and more cases of the flu, which will further make our diagnosis and suspicion for the novel coronavirus even more ambiguous. So how do we know if it's COVID-19 or the flu? Well, we test for the viruses by doing things like obtaining nasopharyngeal swabs and performing genetic viral sequencing to tell us if it's the flu, COVID-19, and or one of the many other viruses that cause similar symptoms. The issue is trying to differentiate between the flu and COVID-19 based on signs and symptoms alone because they're so similar. Signs and symptoms such as fever, fatigue, cough, sore throat, headaches, runny nose, shortness of breath or trouble breathing, body aches, diarrhea, and vomiting are all signs and symptoms that could be seen equally in patients infected with COVID-19 and the flu. However, there are some subtle differences, such as the onset of symptoms, from the time of being exposed or infected. For example, in cases of the flu, symptoms usually start around the first to fourth day after being infected. This is in contrast to symptoms of COVID-19, which typically start later, at around the fifth day after being infected or exposed, but can range widely from an onset of symptoms starting on day two to not having any symptoms until the 14th day. We have also found out early on during the pandemic that the loss of taste and smell was a unique feature in those infected with COVID-19. And more recently, we're seeing more people present with red or swollen eyes and a skin rash, which are not typically seen in cases of the flu. Regardless, the diagnosis should be confirmed with the specific viral testing mentioned previously. So if you're having concerning symptoms, you should always check in and consult with your doctor for professional medical advice. In the meantime, there are things you could do to stay healthy, such as staying home and limiting unnecessary travel, and when going outside, take extra precautions, such as practicing social distancing and wearing a mask. Wash your hands frequently. This includes washing them for at least 20 seconds with soap and water, or sanitizing them with alcohol-based hand sanitizers. Try to avoid touching your face. Studies have shown that people who do this more often have a higher chance of contracting the virus. Avoid contact, especially in those who have any of the symptoms mentioned previously. And if you yourself are having symptoms concerning for COVID-19, limit your exposure to other people and contact your doctor or medical provider for further medical advice.